Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're embarking on an enlightening journey into the world of fasting and its potential benefits for blood sugar management. With recent scientific discoveries in hand, let's unravel the mysteries together. Background and Context First, a bit of context. Prediabetes is like an alarm bell. It's when blood sugar levels start to creep up, signaling potential future health challenges. It's crucial to understand this stage, especially terms like insulin resistance, where our body doesn't respond to insulin as it should, and insulin sensitivity, how effectively our body reacts to insulin. Personal touch. I faced my battles with weight and health, and I know many of you have too. It's why studies like these resonate with me, and I believe they'll resonate with you. In 2018, a captivating study emerged in the journal Cell Metabolism. Titled Early Time Restricted Feeding Enhances Insulin Sensitivity, it delved deep into the effects of adjusting our eating patterns. Now, while it had a small group of only eight participants, the precision of this study was noteworthy. Researchers took extra care, ensuring participants strictly followed the diet provided. The crux Comparing two eating patterns, one where participants wrapped up their meals by 3 p.m., known as early time restricted feeding, and another with a regular 12-hour eating window. The rationale behind early time restricted feeding is fascinating. It's based on the idea that our bodies are naturally more responsive to insulin earlier in the day, thanks to our internal body clock. The findings were nothing short of impressive. Those on early time restricted feeding showcased remarkable improvements in insulin levels. In simpler terms, their bodies became champs at handling blood sugar. But that's not all. Other research, like a 2022 study from the journal Nature, echoed these findings. They too observed that early time restricted feeding led to better blood sugar management, reinforcing the potential benefits of this approach. Conclusion and Call to Action While I'm passionate about these findings, remember I'm not a medical expert. If you're considering any dietary changes, it's always best to chat with a healthcare professional. Stay connected with our channel for more intriguing insights into health and well-being. If today's video sparked your interest, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And for those hungry for more details, our reference list below is packed with information.